I am so excited to do this recipe. This recipe was inspired by my good friend Rabi Mohammed from northern part of Ghana and also northern part of Nigeria. She is she is from both countries. I, I don't know. I just don't know about this girl. But guess what? I asked her two questions that how do you get the best suya spice? She said you need a bookie and curriculum. <laughs> I don't have a bulky. Where am I going to get a bulky from? And I don't have kulukuli. So I decided to put my spice to work. I have here African calabash nutmeg. I have silence of grain. I have some gloves. I have black peppercorn. I'm just going to toast this quickly to get the oil or the, the aromas out of them. Be careful when to see this not to get them bent. Okay. So like I was saying, I was saying about the kulikuli. I don't have kulikuli and kulikuli is a peanut butter snack. Yes. I have to wait for this noise to go down. All right. So it's a peanut butter snack. So I don't have that. So I'm going to use peanut butter powder as you can see in this video i'm just putting a cup of peanut butter powder and the color looks too whitish for me so i decided to toast it a little bit yes that is me adventurous be careful if you want to try out this method put the heat on low 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 setting because it bends out quickly i can tell you when i try the first one it bends i have to do it again so be careful and look at this color beautiful orange color isn't it instead of me sticking to my powder as crazy as i am i decided to go for a real peanut butter oh my god so um it was too soft i'm like jesus uh, what am i gonna do i decided to put this on paper towel to squeeze out the oil for me to see if i can get it dry because a spice must be like in a powder form and uh, jesus it was it was i don't know how to put it if you want to try this method make sure you squeeze it out well use the cloth um kitchen napkins or this paper towel and squeeze it out I, I i didn't have time to keep doing it as a mother of four this is what i came out with i'm like listen this is it i can't kill myself okay so <laughs> but you know what i made it work yeah this is what i got i added it to the powder and jesus it was a mess look at these clumps oh lord it was a mess but um I quickly thought about what I can get to get this into powder form. I don't have time to dry it out. So I pass it through a colander trying to get a powder. I ended up with pebbles. Okay, peanut butter pebbles. <laughs> but guys, trust the process. The end product was amazing. It was tasty because guess what? Everything works good for those who trust in the Lord. So Jesus came through and my recipe was successful. Look at this. Even though it was not a smooth powder, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. All right. So here are the spices that I'm going to add to my peanut butter powder. That was crushed pepper paprika. This is seasoned salt. The little one in the corner is sasson. Just a packet of sasson. This is ginger powder and i'm gonna add everything and i also have garlic and onion powder with three maggi seasoning cubes okay So I'm going to give this a good stir, but also scratching my cube and oh yeah, my spices I grinded. Uh, it was very important. It smells so good in here when I was mixing this. Look at this beautiful color. Beautiful color. The texture is not the best, but I like my suya spice uh, coarse anyway. So yeah, it works for me. Try it out. This was beautiful. And Robbie, wherever you are, I hope I made you proud. 
guys i just want to thank you so much for joining me to do this again if you've not subscribed yet make sure you do if you are returning follower thank you so much and i'll see you guys soon Yeah.